Tectura Architects and Nicholson Builders were chosen because they took the time to get to understand this very unique project and cared as much as we do about the people who are going to be cared for here. My name is Diana Taylor and I'm the Chair of Anamkara House Geelong. Here on Wadarong country, we have beautiful rolling hills. We've got the topography of Geelong just outside the windows. This is an area that will never be built out and it was particularly important that we show our respects to country and the traditional owners in this project. When Anamkara House Geelong started talking to Tectura Architects, we talked about the fact that we needed a home-like environment we have guests in this place, we don't have patients. It still needed to be a Grade 9A hospital facility to ensure that we could provide the care at the level that we needed it at. We wanted materials that were in keeping with a home. We didn't want it to feel like a hospital when you were walking down a corridor. And we wanted to really make the most of this beautiful water on country and our natural environment. So uh, light, being able to access air on your face was particularly important, along with the care for our staff and our volunteers that we really wanted to ensure that this building was able to wrap around them in support. I'm Elizabeth Grigg and I'm Principal of Texture Architects. And I'm Serdar Vakan. I'm also a principal of Texture Architects and it's fantastic to be here. The dream finally having come true. Anamkara came to us as a client and they spoke about human dignity and caring for the most vulnerable and end of life care in particular. And we then set about designing a facility that would allow and nurture that to happen in the best way possible. The Anamkara logo is in fact caring hands. So the entire building took that sentiment and created it into the built form. And it wasn't just symbolic, but it had practical purposes because to the south and southwest, the weather is quite extreme and it provides shelter to the internal courtyards. The Northern building is for the community and respite services. It's going to be very busy. And so that basically is very public, whereas the southern or the bed-based building for guests, which is very private space, is interconnected through the courtyards with a library that sits in the gardens. And so that connection allows in itself a place of refuge and a place of shelter, if you like, in terms of both the staff and for families and for guests you're able to debrief in various locations in this building. As part of the therapeutic process, guests need to be able to wander inside and outside. They need to be able to feel the elements, they need to be able to feel the sun, to be able to go in sheltered spaces and in open spaces. So we have a garden that weaves around the building. So it means that guests are able to experience being outside. They can be wheeled out in their beds, they can be wheeled out in a wheelchair, they can be walking around and just generally enjoying the beautiful views. And uh, I think that those outside spaces will really come into their own in another 12 months and guests will be mingling in and out, which is what it's totally designed for. I'm Steve Allen, uh, owner and director of Nicholson Construction and I was the project director for this project. From the first time that we met the board at Anamkara, Frank Costa, Diana Taylor, Rob Trailful, uh, it was clear the emotional connection that they had with this project. This facility will be the benchmark of what end of life care should be. It seeks to move away from the clinical and move towards the warm and homely. Some of the details we've got in each of the bedrooms are the concealed hospital grade services within the joinery. Part of the requirement for a Class 9A building is to have all of those essential services, medical gases, there's hoist in all of the rooms. But in order for the families to feel comfortable and to feel as though they're not in a hospital, we worked hard with Tectura to ensure that we concealed all of those services. One of the most impressive parts of the design for me, uh, having very recently lost both of my grandparents, uh, is the space within the bedrooms. 
Whenever we celebrate something and we celebrate somebody's life, it's important to have people around us. And Texture have been able to achieve an incredible amount of space in each of the bedrooms, which makes celebrating someone's life and giving somebody a good death possible. My name's Tessa and I'm the nurse manager of our palliative day program at Anamkara. People who are unwell and then they suddenly have to think about moving out of home, it's a huge challenge for people and it's a big step. So if they can come to a place like this where it's home-like and warm and welcoming and safe and they can trust us, that's it in a nutshell. We were actually asked by the architect, what is it that you want me to build? And that just blew my mind away. I just couldn't believe that. We could be asked, what does he want us to build? I've never had the luxury of such an awesome bathroom. And I know that sounds crazy, but the bathrooms we've worked in as nurses is a, a very big challenge. So when we met with the architect, we asked for a nice big bathroom so that we could move our guests in freely and move them around, even on a hoist if we have to, or from an electric wheelchair onto the toilet. We want people to feel like they're still at home, but with the care provision of medical staff, good doctors, good nurses. It's so important for people to feel at peace during this challenging time of their life. We have learnt uh, an extraordinary amount from Tessa, the volunteers, the board, the community, the families, as to what building our nation means. And I think that it is very humbling to know that that exists and has been woven into the fabric of this building. What I'm most proud of in delivery of this project is that not only have we met Adam Carr and Texture's expectations, but I think we've clearly exceeded them. And I'm proud of the development of our team to deliver on the trust that Adam Carr and Texture have placed in us to build their dream. This project is going to mean that generations of people from Geelong and the region are going to be cared for. Our partnership with Deakin University is going to mean that there will be world-class research and care, teaching and learning that is going to sit around all of our guests, our staff and our volunteers in this particular place. There is no place like Anamkara House Geelong at Deakin University Warren Ponds. It is a home. We are here to care for our community and we are now going to be able to do so for generations to come.